Hello, trading has closed on October 9th, 2024. Uh, we'll start with our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions. Also, I'm doing this early. I don't know what futures are going to do. I'm still on hurricane watch here. So far, I'm just fine. Uh, this is my trading plan for tomorrow, October 10th, 2024. Please remember I can be wrong and please remember I'm probably not going to trade this myself with my own money until the hurricane is done. Every now and then I like to remind people my stuff gives targets, it doesn't give entries. Today we, today we look for the pattern with the early low, that's this. Tomorrow has the early high. We said unless we gapped up smartly we had a lower target. 57.26.87. Well, we started down, but we came nowhere near the target. So that's a failed target, and we have to add it to the list. The odds it'll print at some time are well over 99 plus 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 percent, but that doesn't mean it has to print tomorrow, and doesn't mean we won't go higher first. We do have a new target from today's pattern, 57, 59, 31, and if we don't gap up smartly, even though that's a bit lower, that's my call. This is just a reminder of what we said. I had all kinds of negative stuff. I did say the volatility index had reversed through its upper Bollinger Band, and that's usually a signal to buy. I uh, kind of sloughed it off, and I should not have done that. But everything else I have still has this as an area of a possible top. Until there's an actual reversal, there's no real sign. Well, MeJT says this rally is not for keeps. We have a target. We got a buy signal in the afternoon. Didn't call the next move, but it did say the drop was false, and we did eventually trade higher. So that's played out, and this is still an active call. Preferred time frame is by early Friday. Now we have consumer price index and producer price index reports coming out. So even though this target's a bit lower, those can be market movers, and it's not out of reach. But if we gap up, I'm just going to keep the number, but not the time. And if we don't gap up, that'll be the call. Well, today was bar 13 of a sequential cell in addition to bar 13 of a combo cell. I've been ignoring a possible recycle. One thing is the break of this trend line I view as significant and gives us lower targets. The other is the recycle is to Mark's way of avoiding being on the wrong side of a runaway market. And certainly I wouldn't call this a runaway market. His, uh, criteria are to be interpreted loosely. It's always possible I'm misinterpreting it, but if, and that's underlined, if we take out these lows, which aren't really too far away in terms of percentage, I have much lower targets. Well, this blue line we've been following for a long time, that's resistance. We've hit it quite a few times. We hit it on the nose again today. So if you're gonna, I mean, you've gone through it often enough, you don't have to gap, but it would be more convincing if we gapped over it. If not, it's one area of resistance where the rally could stall. We had our diamond on stilts patterns, and one way to calculate the strength of the move is to take Fibonacci targets of either the diamond or one of the stilts. If we take 161.8% of the height of the diamond, you're pretty close to today's top, and that's more resistance right at the high. I've never been completely happy with my wave count since we bottomed out here last year. I had this as one and this as two. I was trying to count this 
as part of a third wave. But, um, I mean, this is a five wave structure. I had this as a B, but I did say that wasn't the only way to count it. What if one and two are correct, and that's three, and that's four, and what if that's five? I mean, the height of wave one is exactly equal to the height of what would be wave five, and the height of this alternate four is darn close to the height of two. I mean, if we drop right from here, right at this resistance area, that another resistance, I mean, you can count this as a completed five-wave structure without breaking a sweat. Now, if we keep going up, it's the wrong count. But if, underline, if we drop, if we undertake, if we undercut these lows, you have what you need to call a, a short-term top, even though it's a long-term bull market. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We won't know till tomorrow. But if it happens, that's a completed five-wave count. Won't know that till tomorrow. Now, tomorrow's pattern is the early high, regardless of how we open. The consumer and producer price indices come out before the open Thursday and Friday. I just can't predict the response to major economic reports. With accuracy, they can be big market movers, and I don't like guessing on those things. We have a lower target. If we don't gap up smartly, the rules call for it to print. If one ignores the recycle, which is a way to avoid being on the wrong side of a runaway market, we completed the DeMarc sequential sell today. We're within Carol Ann's window for a possible top, and it's possible to count the rally as having completed five waves up. Now, none of this is sure as we've made a short-term top, but if it's a top, it should be a significant run. It's like running with scissors. Maybe you won't hurt yourself, but if you're running with scissors and you hurt yourself, it's not good. The ideal situation for the bears would be to start down right from the open, ideally with a gap, and then get followed through. And if we continue higher, ideally by gapping up, will have overcome significant resistance. Regardless of what happens tomorrow, I think by the end of the year we'll be higher. I think we're in a strong bull market. But if we start down right from here, we have the Caroline stuff, we have the DeMarc stuff. I mean, I have a wave count that works. Um, if that's the right count, we're due for a sizable correction. And um, I think if you're long, it pays to have a stop. And if you keep going up and getting up, well, that's the price you pay. I mean, you don't have to take a trade. So it's the pattern tomorrow with the early high. Major economic reports coming out. We rallied too, but not through strong resistance. The bears have a shot here, giving us a big drop. But if we keep going up, I wouldn't force it. And that's today's call.